welcome to another design with me. Today we're working on a personal desktop wallpaper um, for the month of April. And so we're going to jump into Canva and I'm going to show you how I've walked through that design. Um, before we jump in, I just want to say I am feeling a little under the weather, so please excuse that. But otherwise, uh, should be a fun video of um, designing um, a personal background. So let's get into it. All right, so now we are in Canva and how I like to start this project out is by making a copy of a wallpaper that I already like. Um, so I'm just renaming this to the current month of April and saving it. And then I'm going to start by clicking on the elements and clicking, um, typing in there April. And um, then that will start pulling up some photos because I clicked on photo. It'll start pulling up photos that have April tagged on them. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, um, if you have more a specific um, like inspiration, you can use definitely use more specific search keywords. Um, but for the month of April, I didn't really have any um, inspiration going into this. Um, and so I just typed in April. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm searching through the photos and kind of getting an idea of what uh, I like, what am I feeling for the month, um, what photos speaking to me. And so I'm just really using Canva as a tool. Um, and as an inspiration tool for design. Um, <clears throat> and so what you'll see is you'll see me kind of s swapping, s switching out, swapping. Um, and uh, um, playing around with the different ideas. Um, and so that's a nice photo, but not exactly what I'm looking for. So... I'm going to keep on scrolling and see if we can find something that um, is speaking to me about the month of April. Hmm, that one's nice as well, but again, I don't think exactly what I'm looking for. So <clears throat> we'll keep looking. Mm, this one is nice. And um, I like the kind of muted colors. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. All right, so I'm going to start by um, changing up my calendar. And as you can see, I like a really simple desktop. Um, you know, Canva does have other tools or other um, sort of design templates for desktops, but I keep mine pretty simple. Okay, so jumping back into this calendar, reconfig. Um, you know, I, I updated the title to April. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to start um, moving the actual calendar dates around. So, yeah, April starts on a Saturday. So what I'm doing is I'm just selecting all of these dates and I'm going to select them all and move them down. Um, I could um, move that gray background um, circle and uh, use my mouse to select everything, but <clears throat> here you can see it. this method also works. So I have everything selected. I'm just going to scoot this down, hopefully not move it too much, but scoot it down and uh, start configuring my actual dates. So like I said, April starts on a Saturday. We're going to move that one up. We're going to move these over to align with the correct dates in April. And, um, <clears throat> okay, so when I'm doing this, I, I don't worry too, too much about, yeah, I'm going to move this out of the way. Maybe I better keep it there so I can see. Anyway, um, when I'm doing this movement, um, I don't worry too, too much about perfect alignment because Canva has tools that kind of help me out there. And I'll show you those after we get done moving these dates. So click there, move this over, get it sort of in line and then move on down. 
select these, move them up, skew them over a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, and again, um, you know, if you wanted to create um, on your desktop background, if you wanted to create, um, I've seen in other designs, um, you know, sections for different types of um, work you're doing. Um, a section for to daily to-dos, um, uh, a section for notes, or having it, uh, every once in a while, I'll throw this on here too, like an inspirational quote too. So um, really background uh, is up to you in preference. Oh, apparently March had the 34th. So <laughs> um, we'll change that back to the 24th, which is a real date and move that over. Looks good. Um, select these last few dates and move them up here. And then um, April has no 31st, so we're just going to move that 30th over. Select that and um, get it moved over. And then we'll delete the 31st. And here's where I'm going to start showing you that the tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this first column and go up to position and do tidy up. Okay, I'll show you that again. So I'm going to select the second column. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go up to position and tidy up. In addition, you could also click, click that um, they have quick keys, so you can click that Alt Shift T and that um, will also tidy up for you. But I'm kind of showing you the long way. Once you are comfortable playing around in Canva, just use those quick keys to save yourself a little time and a few clicks. So I'm going to finish aligning these columns and uh, see what it looks like from there. Cool, last column, tidied up. You know, it's not perfect, but um, since this is for personal use, I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so now what I'm doing is, um, <clears throat> I found that I prefer the calendar with that little sort of contrasting bubble behind it. And so what I'm doing here is kind of playing with how it looks with the background photo. Um, and I really like that light pink for this particular month. So what I'm going to have to do is make the April and all the text here a little darker. So what I'm doing is moving that circle, selecting everything, and giving this a darker color. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I actually really like how this is, design is turning out. And so I'm just going to place this back where it belongs. And I think we are done. So thank you so much for joining me in this design and hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm.